We won't go running back to Liza. You don't have to worry about that. Stuart's our kid. She's our responsibility. Okay. Um, so you, you guys have a, a plan? Yeah. We're leaving town. We're going anywhere with this place. Gonna make a new start. New friends, new life. But I thought you were going to Ohio to be with your parents. Yeah, that's, that's not really an option anymore. Um, they don't want me back. Not if I come home with a baby. Okay, Bailey, I am sorry. But we want you to stay. We, we want both of you to stay. My mom is doing everything she can to put on a brave front. But it is killing her to think of you taking him away, and, and it is killing me too. So I am begging you, please, stay. So then my little princess, the light of my life, my sole reason for existence, points a little finger at me and calls me Booger. Mm. A booger, huh? Yeah. Huh, what do you think? Yeah, nice. Future <laughs> Rhodes Scholar. I wonder what she's gonna call me when she's 16 and I tell her she can't have the car. Yeah, you are in a lot of trouble, oh, really. I've never been so in... Well, that's not true either, is it? <laughs> there it is. Uh, beautiful laugh. Haven't heard that for a while. Well, I haven't had much to laugh about. Yeah, we're gonna have to change that. Listen, do me a favor. Damn it. Go home. Go hug your kids. Hold them tight. Well, I wasn't planning on ditching you so early. You have been such a good friend, and I really needed you now. But now you need to go home and you need to be a good dad. I thought you didn't want to be alone. Well, I, I can't hide out here forever. Hell, that food alone is going to kill me. <laughs> now I got to go home. You know, I got to, I got to face my life, and I have to accept this. Okay. Can I at least give you a lift? Come on, it's one floor down. Yeah, I know, it's on my way. Get it? See what I did there? Yeah, I did. See, it's on my way. Yeah. It's going down the elevator. <laughs> now do you understand why I am so worried it could all come apart? Yeah. Adam has all the power. It's just the way he likes it. Well, what if he tries to turn it around on me? It gets me sent to jail because of what happened between the two of us. Nothing happened. And nothing bad. It was all innocent. Yeah, well, it didn't look so innocent on that video. Now, just stop, okay? You are being paranoid. He loves you. He is past that. And he is going to go through with everything that you just told me. I have no doubt about that. They let me go. <laughs> Not guilty by reason of diminished capacity. Diminished capacity, that's a, that's a pretty apropos description of my life up to now. No capacity to care, no capacity to cherish, no capacity to empathize. I went by the um, Christmas tree lot on the way home, picked up a tree for us. It was uh, odd. Without you being there, you were always the one who chose the tree. It's, uh... <laughs> Strange. It was... sad. <laughs> Very sad. Do you, do you, uh... Do you remember the, those, those, uh, they used to love those big, big bulbs, the big ones? <laughs> Remember the time the J.R. Daddy had to talk to you into stringing them all around the house? <laughs> it's because I didn't want Santa Claus to miss our house. It worked. I got everything on my list. Then again, when didn't I? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. I'd like to continue this discussion we had at the courtroom today. I wanted to say that I forgive you. I miss you. And that I think it's high time that our family comes back together. 
Nothing would make me happier. Even Annie? JR. I understand. You want her more than anything. But as long as she's a part of your life, I can't be. Neither can my son. Very smart. No child is safe around Annie.